so this is the fourth problem on composite sections a mild steel rod 20 mm diameter and 300 mm long he is enclosed centrally inside a hollow copper tube of external diameter 30 mm and internal diameter 25 the ends of the rod and the tube are braced together the composite bar is subjected to an axial pull of 40 kN as shown in figure if the Young's modulus for steel and copper is 200 GPA and 100 GPA respectively find the stresses developed in the rod and the tube it is a very interesting problem see here in this arrangement there are two materials so one is steel mild steel steel another one is copper so here steel is solid so copper is hollow mild steel is solid of diameter 20 mm copper it is hollow section it is like a tube with external diameter so d external 30 millimeter and internal diameter 25 millimeter so this total arrangement is subjected to a load of 40 kilonewton so it is 40 into 10 raised to 3 newton so Young's modulus of steel so es it is 200 gpa so it will be 200 into 10 raised to 3 newton per millimeter square so Young's modulus of copper 100 gpa so it will be 100 into 10 raised to 3 newton per millimeter square so it is required to calculate the stresses developed in the rod and the tube so which means sigma s it has to be calculated and sigma c so sigma s refers to stress in steel rod so sigma c refers, refers to stress in stress in copper tube so first let me calculate the area of steel so area of steel AS so it is a circular section so pi d square divided by 4 so diameter is 20 so pi into 20 square divided by 4 so area of steel you will get AS So area of steel so pi into 20 square divided by 4 so it will be 314 so area of steel will be 314.14 mm square so R near it is nearly equal to 314.2 mm square so this is area of steel so area of copper so a c so your steel is solid whereas copper is hollow copper is hollow so its area can be calculated as 
pi divided by 4 external diameter square minus internal diameter square so pi divided by 4 so external diameter is 30 square minus internal diameter is 25 square so let me find the area so pi divided by 4 so into 30 square minus 25 square so it will be 215 so area of copper will be 215.98 so area of copper so it is nearly 216 mm square 216 mm square so this is how you can calculate the area okay so in the next step so use your first assumption that is stress in stress in steel which is equal to stress in copper sorry strain in steel which is equal to strain in copper so strain can be written as stress divided by Young's modulus so this is your basic formula so stress equals so load divided by area or so your Young's modulus equals stress divided by strain so to evaluate the strain so it will be stress divided by Young's modulus so this formula I am using here again same sigma s multiplied by e c cross multiply e c multiplied by sigma c so to evaluate sigma s so this equation will be e s so this is e s divided by e c multiplied by sigma c so sigma s equals so Young's modulus of steel 200 into 10 raised to 3 divided by Young's modulus of copper 100 into 10 raised to 3 so 10 raised to 3 10 raised to 3 get cancelled so multiplied by sigma c so sigma s equals 2 times sigma c so this is your first equation so you should arrive this equation next use your second assumption that is total load p equals p s plus p c so load shared by steel plus load shared by copper so total load it is 40 into 10 raise to 3 equals again load can be written as stress into area so stress sigma s area a s plus sigma c into a c so 40 into 10 raise to 3 equals so sigma s can be written as 2 times sigma c so from this equation so a s area of steel 314 okay plus sigma c into a c area of copper so it is 216 so so if you simplify this you will get 40 into 10 raised to 3 equals 
2 into 314 so it will be 628 so sigma c into 6 628 plus sigma c into 216 so 40 into 10 raise to 3 equals sigma c is common so 628 plus 216 so plus 216 so it will be 844 so 40 into 10 raise to 3 equals sigma c into 844 so now sigma c equals 40 into 10 raise to 3 divided by 844 so 40 into 10 raise to 3 divided by 844 so you will get 47 47.4 so sigma c equals 47.4 newton per millimeter square so this is stress in stress in copper so to calculate stress in steel to calculate stress in steel so use this formula sigma s equals 2 times sigma c so sigma s equals 2 times so sigma c will be 47.4 so 47.4 multiplied by 2 so it will be 94.78 so sigma s equals 94.78 newton per millimeter square so this is stress in copper and this is stress in steel